In this question, we're given a diagram of a desk that is being covered by square tiles. And what we have to find out is how many of these square tiles will it take to cover the entire desk? What we can see is so far the desk is partially covered by a row of tiles here, a row of tiles here, and a column of tiles here. So we can count these tiles, but what about in this area here that hasn't been covered yet? Well, what we can do is extend these rows. For example, I could draw in a line there, there, and there. And then do the same thing with the columns. So we put a line here, here, etc. So now we have a picture of what the desktop would look like when it's fully covered. Now let's uh, copy that and then make it bigger so we can get a better look. Okay, so here is what the desktop would look like. So what we can do now is just count the number of tiles on the desktop. Now there are a number of ways to do this. We could just go ahead and count each individual tile, or we could notice something as follows. We could say, well, the rows, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tiles for each row. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six tiles for each column. So we can either have six groups of these seven tiles, one, two, three, four, five, six groups of seven, or we can have seven groups of these six tiles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That means the total number of tiles will equal seven times six, or six times seven, whichever way you want to do it. Now what if we didn't know what seven times six was, or we forgot? Well, no problem. Let's just count again the number of tiles in a row. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tiles. So we can put the number seven here. That means this row would have seven, 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 and this row would have seven. And then we can just simply add up each of these rows. 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. So the total would be 7 plus 7 is 14, plus 7 is 21, plus 7 is 28, plus 7 is 35, plus 7 is 42. Or we could go the other way. Again, we notice that we've got each column has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 tiles in it. So we put a 6 here. So the next column would have 6, the next column would have 6, etc. And then we go ahead and add 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6, which would be 6 plus 6 is 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42. We get the same answer. So 7 groups of 6, or 6 groups of 7, means 7 times 6, which as we found out equals 42. So we look down our list of options, and the last one is the right answer. And there you go.